Section 1.3, we are going to discuss segments and their measures. Uh, we're going to start with a new vocabulary term, postulate, and another word for it is axioms, which you won't hear us use very often. Actually, I don't think I ever use that I word. I don't think I ever have either. <laughs> so postulate is just get comfortable with it. There's actually a lot of postulates that we're going to see throughout the year, and there's um, in the back of your book, there's a whole list of them. Uh, what is a postulate? It is basically rules, and they are accepted to be true without any proof. So it's kind of like they're just telling you that this is a true thing. Um, to me, postulates a lot of times are um, kind of no-brainers. You'll hear it and you're like, okay, that makes sense. Oh, absolutely. Most of them you're going to hear, and I say the same thing. I call them no-brainers as well, where you think, well, of course that's true. Why yeah. wouldn't that be true? So it's just a rule in math. All right, so like for example, when I look at the distance between points A and B, notice that I've got just two points that are on a number line. And point A is at 17 and point B is at 71. So if I wanted to find the distance between those two points, what do you think I would do? Well, I mean, you could count it. That would take a while. Or you could say this kind of, this is the location of A and point um, B. So I could, to find the difference, maybe uh, distance, find the difference between the two. Absolutely. So I could do 71 minus 17 and... The difference is 54. Had to get my calculator out for that one. <laughs> All right. So when we're talking about the distance between two points, we know that it's the difference between their two values. Now, what if I had said 17 minus 71? Well, if I do 17 minus 71, that gives you a difference that's negative. Right. So just to be more specific, you could say the always take the larger number minus the smaller number, or you could say the absolute value of the difference between two numbers. And when you find the absolute value, which you've learned before, if you take the absolute value, it's always a positive outcome, which is what you want. When you get a distance, you're going to talk about positive. You don't right. want a negative distance. Distance at all. cannot be negative. Yep. Okay. So the first postulate that we're going to focus on is what we call the ruler postulate. The ruler postulate says the distance between points A and B, written as AB. Now notice that this isn't a segment, this is a distance. So when we talked about a segment AB, we wrote AB with a little segment bar above it. When we're talking about a distance, we write AB, but we do not put a segment bar above it. And it says that the distance between two points, written as AB, is the absolute value of the difference between the coordinates of points A and B. So this sounds kind of like deja vu. It's something mm -hmm. we just did. The last slide, we found the difference between those points. We used their coordinates, just subtracted them, made sure it was a positive amount, so we attached that absolute value if we have to, and that's the distance between those two points. And again, we leave to write it, the notation is we would write it just as AB, but it's also the same thing as segment, the length of segment AB. Yeah. And again, stressing what Mrs. Hoke Gravy is saying, that's, that's an important notation factor. There's a difference between the segment bar or leaving it off. One's talking about the physical segment, the picture. Leaving it off, it's talking about the actual length, the distance. Yeah. The second postulate we are learning, and we'll again learn several postulates, but this is the second one we're learning today. Um, it's called the segment addition postulate. And a lot of the postulates out there will have names. Um, which is a nice reference. Um, sometimes, especially the ones we use a lot, uh, we will use an acronym for it. Now, one thing you're going to learn is that we don't want to just make up any acronym because then we're going to get overboard with it. So and there are some that might have the same acronym if we're not careful to. Exactly. So Mrs. Hogarty and I will use acronyms as much as possible, but we use them for the ones, postulates, rules that we use a lot. So just trust us on this. So this is called the Segment Edition Postulate, or SAP for short. Um, it, it sounds exactly what it is. You're basically adding segment lengths together. So it says if point B, again, capital B is talking about a point, is between A and C. So they're saying point B is somewhere between points A and C. Now this word between, just to stress, that's basically saying these three points are all on the same line or collinear. But it doesn't mean that they're this, it's equally distant between those two exactly. points. Exactly. No, and we kind of try to ref, just kind of exaggerate that a little bit. They're saying then this 
is trip. So if you know point B, somewhere between A and C, then the distance be between A and B, again, notice no segment bar. This is saying the length AB plus the length of segment BC will give you this entire length AC. So this is why we call it a postulate a no-brainer because, of course, that makes sense. Yeah, so if this was like three units long and this was five units long, Ms. Hokerby, how long is segment AC? It would be eight units long. Ah, three plus five is eight. Perfect. And then you'll notice they flip it around. They just basically say if you know this length plus this length is this total length, then this is true. Now, again, what this is saying is basically saying these are all collinear points, meaning they're going to all lie on the same 